Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ivan. Welcome back to the Minecraft survival world and we are starting off in the nether because I was killing a bunch of piglins for their rotten flesh and their gold. If you think I'm lying, I'll show you my statistics. See right here, 500, I killed 528 zombified piglins. A lot of off-camera stuff and yeah, and this just proves everything lots of rotten flesh and also i think this chest over here has the stuff that i bartered from these piglins over here oh, there's only one guy there's nothing in that chest but i'll just put some stuff in there i'll keep this fire resistance potion and yeah he's angry because i opened the chest so yeah good luck with that buddy so done a lot of that and I'm gonna just go back home right now and start on a, our first ever project in our world, our first build, which is gonna be pretty, pretty good since I have so much junk just laying around for no reason. And also we're gonna be t obtaining our first set, a few, our first few pieces of diamond armor. So I'll get you guys right there. All right, so we're back at the village. And as you can see, there are some new residents that took place. As we have a fisherman here, we also have stonemasons, the what? Weaponsmith, armor. This is the guy we're looking forward to right here, and many others. And another iron golem took residence as well. And I did some more off-camera stuff, like chopping down the trees and escaping out this land right here, which is looks pretty nice and i had to film some a couple things and that looks like the the cross it looks like a cross that's awesome never noticed that but i'm gonna just fill that up with dirt that i have in my ender chest right here a lot of dirt so you know, a lot of escaping around this land so i'll just fill that hole up so i can build my thing right here my uh, first project Hopefully that'll be turn out really great. That's supposed to. And we're gonna retrieve our first set of diamond armor with a lot of these emeralds right here. And let's talk to this guy. He's selling diamond leggings for fire protection too. And this one looks pretty good. Feather falling too, diamond boots. And you know what? Without further ado, let's purchase our first set of diamond armor. So we got the boots, awesome, we'll put those on right now, and we'll buy the leggings, because why not? Uh, it's not like he's discounting my prices too, and there we go, got our diamond leggings, and I don't think I want the enchantment for the leggings, I think I want something else, so we'll grab our lapis, and we will disenchant the leggings we'll keep the boots for now but we will disenchant these because it's not a good enchantment fire protection is good but it's not good for like a full set of armor it's not my preferred armor that i would like but no worries we have an enchantment table right here so we can choose something else let's see what we get protection three I don't actually take that. I'm breaking pretty awesome. That's a little bit better. And uh, see what's it for boots. I got a sprinkle boots. I'm breaking three. Should we disenchant it? I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. It does not hurt. Might give us something in return. Let's see. Oh, protection for unbreaking three and depth strider. Wow, that's really good. Despite it not being feather falling, that, that is perfectly fine. I am okay with that. But yeah, that's pretty much our first set of diamond armor right there. Looks pretty, pretty nice. And I'll just get start to work on the warehouse. And this warehouse design is sponsored by a a Minecraft person on Instagram and uh, I will show you his account right now on the screen.
took I took uh, his warehouse design and I'm gonna build it right here in this land right here so and the sun's about to go down so I will just take go to sleep and then we'll start our first project all right so we're gonna go grab our materials right here which we got a lot of bricks from trading with the stonemason right over here as he sells 10 bricks for an emerald and we can turn those into brick blocks and many other things that he also sells and uh, yeah we'll just get started on the foundation for this warehouse i have it pulled up right now with what, it, what it looks like and right and such so i think we'll build it in this direction hopefully hopefully there's enough land all right we pretty much framed it out and i am using so much of the durability and look how much dirt we can't escape out the land and this is pretty all the dirt that I had pretty much digged up, but I did not expect this build to be this big. But you know what? It's perfectly fine because I'm going to need this anyway. So I can put all my stuff in here. And what this build is is basically a warehouse. So basically, warehouse usually stores goods. And I'm put on, I'm gonna treat it like a storage unit so I can put like all the chests in here. The sun's going down again, but that is pretty much the frame of it. As you can see on the Instagram post. And uh, yeah, it requires a lot of bricks. You know what? I, I think I have plenty of enough. If I do run out, I can just always chop down more trees and get more emeralds. And that's totally fine, but let's just go take a quick sleep. Then we'll probably finish finish it off all right so i had to take a really really great look so it had to be like 10 blocks high six seven eight nine ten i think that's how high it should be so i'm going to take a lot of fall damage but you know what that's fine for each corner i suppose so we'll just keep doing that for each corner just like that just matches up really nicely yeah I switched my food to golden carrots because it's a little little more better than bread because it has the highest saturation of all foods so it's probably the best food source in minecraft right now but there could be better food sources in the later updates of this game so just do keep doing this looks pretty good and then these have to be looks like have to be for garages so it has to be like seven at least so i think it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven. i think it should be this high or maybe one down lower like a seven block gap in between so we'll just do that I'll show you what it looks like later it looks like our friend has shown up and is it anything interesting uh no slime balls are pretty interesting but i don't think i would want that glowstone already have that nah, nothing i really want from that guy see him bring me out it looks really really huge but it'll look really good when it's all done so i'm just trading for more bricks right here i guess he's all stock and ready so we'll just buy more great source of bricks and it'll give us all of it yep. alrighty he's into more we'll catch you guys when we're done with that all right so right now we finished both sides of the warehouse this side and that side well, we're starting to work on both of these sides right here and then we'll get into the roofing part and there's exposed copper right here which i will sub touch right now it's only two pieces that's fine we'll just fill that up with dirt and yeah we'll start to work on this side and that sounds like get more my hands on more bricks hopefully i was spending a lot of emeralds on these bricks but you know it's going to be worth it hopefully i will catch you guys when it's all set and done and then we'll start working on the roof and the floor all other cosmetic designs to this warehouse put into the instagram post so yeah i'll see you guys when i'm finished all right after lots of trading for bricks we have finished both sides of 
the warehouse. I think these are the entrances or whatnot. And these are supposed to be like the garages where the so-called trucks can come in. But we also have to top off the roof. And this is not done. We have to top off the floor, the roof. We have to put the chest in here. So much work to be done. So much trading. So much time being used. But you know what? It's going to be good at the end. So we'll just get started on the roof. And But first, we need our crafting table. So we can make stone bricks. Because that's what they used in the build. It's not like this. It's like that. Stone bricks. This. And we can convert these into slabs. So the roof can look really, really nice. And also we need to do this. Make this into a polished. And the size sense is also used for the roof as well. And also some polished granite. So we can use that for other cosmetic uses. So I'll just split half of the stone bricks into slabs. So I can do this. So there, there we have half slabs right here and we're gonna get started on the roof right away and i'll and i'll be back with you guys once progress is being made all right after like a whole hour of building the roof and doing cosmetic looks that they added and digging out the floor it looks pretty much good it looks really fantastic really identical to the post on instagram you see the roof has sun sunlight and everything and uh we just dug out the floor to put it place it with stone so we'll just do this right now and later we're gonna get some chest put them all over in here because it's a warehouse it's used to store goods like i said and yeah, I'll just get back to you guys when I finish with the floor. I know there's a lot of cuts because it takes so much time to build this. It took me like a good hour, like two hours, maybe two and a half hours to build this whole thing. And we're almost done. We're almost finishing it off. Hopefully it looks good. We'll put some lights in here so no monsters can spawn in here or anything like that. So... Yeah, I'll just get back right to you guys when I finish with all the flooring. Alright, so we're done with this floor. And we're now going to put in the chest right now. So I think I want to information somewhere like this. Where they will stack up and whatnot. Okay, well, I don't think that will work because... Where's my axe? Oh yeah, it broke. It's fine. Because if I stack it next to this one, it will, yeah, it would do that. Well, that's great. No way to break this. Do this all over again, but no, it's fine. Stack it up to three in every row, I guess. There's going to be more chests in here, but I think this is what I will do for now. And uh, yeah, we can just keep doing this for our storage like that and I think of two more two more rows will be fine and then we keep going on from there and yeah that's this is the last row it's a really nice great storage unit of some sorts and you know I'll just put one more right here because you know what why not it's supposed to be like that looks pretty good all right so we added another row right here which you know i ran out of chest at that point but these will all be full of stuff in the next episode as you will see and i spice it up with a little bit of torches so we could probably have a good look at it at night time but overall this looks really really good turned out the way it's very identical like i said and looks really nice it's pretty big build i didn't expect it to be that big but hey it is what it is and yeah it's pretty much that so trucks can go in there unstock some things and many more things and the skylights will be a good source of light as well put the torches in there to prevent monsters from spawning and there will be more chests in here there will be a lot more chests 
Hopefully there will be a lot more than that. Looks really, really nice. Turned out really good. But I'll wait for it to be nighttime so I can show Casey what it looks like at night. Alright, so here we are. The first time at nighttime. Hello. That we get to see the warehouse in action right here. And yep, there's a lot of monsters spawning. So that is not really good. But you know what? We'll just forget about it at that point and you know all iron golems are aggro towards the zombie because it, they're a huge threat to the villagers there are some dark spaces where mobs will spawn but you know what? i'll take care of that in the next episode or off camera but it looks really nice in here there's a lot of creepers outside that can ruin this build easily but you know what i'm happy that i built this and it was an ins it was a creator build so it's not made by me it's made by someone else but that is pretty much that and this creeper just won't let go so I'll take take care of him and one shot nice and we'll go to sleep and i'll take one of these villagers bed if i need to all right uh one more thing before i end this episode but i will enchant my diamond tool since i have enough levels and i cannot remember remember where my tools are so you just stay right there i think they're in my upper chest area right there my chest upstairs and i'll get rid of you so i don't want you sneaking up on me take care of that put some stuff away hopefully it's on the hey. put some stuff away yeah, where's my diamond tools? I think they are upstairs. Yep, they are. All right, nice. My shovel, my picket, my axe. We can get some good enchantments on these because these are really gonna be worth it. There's some good ones. Just looks really nice. I can just look at this all day. You know, it's my first build in the world, first project already been complete so yeah we scratch that off and we can go enchant our tools as reward uh, fortune for a axe no how about for a chest plate protection three and i'm breaking that's awesome i'll get rid of that for the iron one just need the helmet now for the axe it's efficiency i think i want on the shovel more all right just efficiency that's fine I'm breaking on the axe, alright. And efficiency 4, awesome. And is there anything else that we want to enchant? Uh, do we have a fishing rod? I think my fishing rod, yeah, it's in there. I don't think I want to do that. But, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you hit a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit the notification bell if you want to get more Minecraft content on the channel. See you guys in the next video. See ya.